Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, if you guys are watching on the replay, we are here for a micro workout. So my micro workouts are small, short, 15 to 20 minute workouts that you can fit in any time. Um, I always try to make it total body, so we're hitting bigger muscle groups. Today we're going to do it a little bit differently. Um, we're going an upper body circuit times two, and then a lower body circuit times two. All right, we're going to start our warm up, dynamic warm up that we I start every workout or run with, and this allows your muscles to just get the blood flowing, get some movement. These aren't designed to stretch our muscles or to gain any flexibility or range of motion, but just to warm up the range of motion that you have. Remember, if you want to do some deeper stretching, that should be done post-workout. All right, we're coming out to the side. Just an FYI, if you guys ever wonder why I don't have music, you can't, when I run workouts over Facebook Live, you can't run music, or Facebook will boot you off because of copyright. So, you have to play your own music in the background. Good, okay. We're coming here, opening up. Fine, moving a little bit. And let's do our hip opener. So we take it up, up. Three, three, four, five, and six. Good. All right, taking it into reverse lunge. With a little twist, so we just come out to the side a little bit. down into our squat. Opening up here. Such a good stretch here to open up your back and to really just get some range of motion um, in your ankles and feet. Good, five more seconds. And we're gonna take it Onto our mat, downward facing dog, pedal it up, I'm trying to get myself in the camera view there. Good. Now we're going to take right foot over our left heel, press it down, pop it up six times. down onto all fours, hands directly at the shoulders, knees under hips, and we're going cat cap. Five, six, good, and then our reach throughs, just so you can see me here, my weights are on the way, reach it through, fall down. Two, two, three, three, and then we finish 
with our flow. My bad. We go child's pose, upward dog. Child's pose, upward dog. Child's pose, and upward dog. Okay. Okay. So, circuit today. I'm just gonna grab my drink. See if I need any weights on this first one. Yes. So here's what you need. Medium set of weights. I'm going to hop behind the camera and grab my weights. So we're going push-ups, we're going row, and then biceps curl two times through. Grab my weights. So I'm using a medium weight here. Um, you just grab what you have. Okay. So push-ups are going to be on the mat. You can go from your toes or from your knees. You can start on your toes. Move to your knees, you can go elevated. All right, you do you. All right, I'm gonna get my timer started. We're starting in five seconds. In three, two, one, here we go. Push ups, 45 seconds. We inhale on the way down, we exhale on the way up. So I'm going to go half regular and half from my knees. Okay. You do whatever works for you. This is working for me today. Notice how I'm keeping nice and straight over my hips. Super important. Five seconds and stop. Good. We stand it up. We're going to work the opposite muscle group. So we're going to take it into a bent row. So it's going to be a nice flat back. Hinge at the hip. My back is flat and we pull. I'm going to turn to the side in a second. Just so you can see, it sometimes helps to widen your stance. Make sure that you are not shrugging. So those elbows are pulling back. Flat back, working those posture muscles. This weight is actually just, probably just right, even a little heavy for me. 10 seconds. Struggle with these last couple reps. And stop, and then we're taking it Next into biceps curls. So we're gonna stand on one foot. You can toe touch down if you need to, and just regular bicep curl. Here we go. Ready, begin. So, why do we stand on one foot? This really helps engage the core. You can feel as the weight is coming up, your body wants to move. What I want you to do is resist that, okay? Resist that urge for the body to move and that engages those core muscles. Good. Five seconds. And stop, good. We are back to push-ups. Go through that one more time. Remember, these are quick rounds. Quick and effective. Ready? Begin. Push-ups. time. Using our breath, we have 20 seconds. We have 10. One more rep. Yeah, All right. Right into row. So grabbing those weights, nice, 
base of support, hinge at the hip, little bend in the knee. Here we go. Row. So working those back muscles. You are awesome. It's one rep at a time. Control that motion on the way down. And stop. Good. Okay. Other foot. You guys are working me today. That's a good thing. All right, other foot. Here we go. Ready? You're going to get a little more rest after this 45 seconds, and then we'll move into lower body. Good. Awesome. We have 20 seconds. We have five, and stop. Awesome work. Okay, so grab a sip wherever you are. Grab a little sip, sip. So if you're catching this on the replay down the road, whenever it is, we're early June here right now, and the humidity. Whew, it's gonna be a sticky one today. Okay, so next set, and this is our final set. Remember, micro workout. We're going wall sit, reverse lunge, plank. So wall sit, reverse lunge, plank. With the reverse lunge, you can go weighted or unweighted. I'm gonna take one dumbbell and hold it here in front of me for the reverse lunge, but you can use just body weight if you'd like. All right, we're starting in 15 seconds. Two times through. Two times through. So we have six minutes of work left. Six minutes. Five seconds. Ready? Begin. So when you're in this wall set, we are 90-90, digging the heels in, breathing, I like to really just sort of pause my thoughts here for a second when I'm in a wall sit and just think about either my intentions for the day or maybe one thing you are thankful for just to kind of divert your mind. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Okay, reverse lunge. So remember when you're doing a reverse lunge and it's not our warm up, we're not twisting. It's just a straight back alternating. Okay, don't take a huge step back. I like to hold the weight up here and begin. So, here. See that knee just kind of taps. seconds. And stop. Plank. So working some core, 
45 second hold, you can go elbows, knees, mix it up if you need to. Ready, begin. Nice long body. I'm gonna try here to get back in control of my breath. Really thinking about drawing my belly button up into my spine. Three, two, and one. Okay. One more time through. Wall sit. So, feet apart, come on down, get into that position, right on the fold there. Good. Give me a big smile. Good. And I am really feeling this workout today. It's a good thing. It means we're getting stronger. We have 15 seconds. We have five. And stop, good. All right. <clears throat> Reverse lunge. So again, I'm gonna hold the weight up. Body's up nice and tall. Posture muscles always working. Ready, begin. Here, bring it up. Here. Just tap that knee down. Drive up through the whole foot. Fifteen seconds. And stop. Great work. Forty five seconds and done. We are down plank for forty five seconds. Ready. Begin. Good. Breathe. I'll check my form. Another thing to think about when you're in the plank, try not to, you see how I'm rounding there, try to open that up so you're not rounding. Good. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo! Great job. Now, that little bit, you can see like my heart rate's up, I can feel it. We hit total body. If you happen to need a longer workout today, just do another round, right? But these small things that you can fit in, we like to make it so that you can really um, never say that you don't have time because we can always sneak things in like this. Have a fantastic day.